see him? Welcome back to Persona 5 Royale. Yeah, we, uh, we're kind of jumping in here in the middle of the end here, but we are finishing up Maruki's palace and getting into the ending. So let's, let's do this. Where could Mona, Akechi-kun, and he be? We've literally looked everywhere. This is our original reality, right? I believe so, yes. The MetaNav is gone. We don't even have a way to check anymore. At any rate, there's no point in worrying about it here. We should work all of this out somewhere else. You're right. Now that I think about it, we've been out all night too. So let's go to Leblon. Huh? Samire, let's go! Oh, right! Hmm, I wonder what that was. Hmm? I'm home. You didn't tell me you'd be out all night. You should have at least gotten in touch with me about it. I'm sorry, Sojiro. We're the ones who kept her out so late. We should be apologizing for her. And we're all back so early in the morning. We're awfully sorry. Stop apologizing so much. Being worried isn't exactly on my list of favorite activities, but I assume you had a good reason for it, right? Um, have you seen him at all lately? Uh, him? What are you bringing him up for? You know what his deal is right now, Sojiro? Well, yeah. He's been locked up since last year. Locked up? What's going on? What are you guys talking about? Well, I was going to ask you that, but now I'm getting a strange feeling that I've been seeing him until fairly recently. Anyways, mm -hmm. why don't you all I'm take in a jail. seat before Main I go through the situation? Jail. I'm not actually in jail. So he's in juvenile detention. Well, I need to stock up on a few supplies before I open up shop. Feel free to hang out here while I'm out. Thank you. This is what it was supposed to be. So, this is our original reality, right? Or are we in another different one now? You know, these unexpected changes could actually be the end results of our actions in our own reality. Remember how he was originally planning on turning himself into the police? Then Akechi-kun did it for him instead. But... But that took place in Dr. Maruki's reality. Which means he's currently... So everything that would have happened if it weren't for Dr. Maruki... Now it's actually happened? You know, what y'all are saying is starting to make sense. But in that case, in the real reality... Uh, I, I mean... The reality we're in right now. What happened with Morgana and Akechi? Don't say it. Just like with my mom. No Morganas. Did someone say my name? There he is. This again! Recycled gags suck! <laughs> Why do you always have to get us all worried like that? How are you here? Looks like it really was just the metaverse me who disappeared. Eventually I woke up in Shibuya. Getting all the way back here took some Sounds time. Sounds familiar. Come on, don't scare us like that. Oh, uh, but wait, does that mean Akechi's... What is it, Mona-chan? Well... About him... No, I can't believe akechi son's really... What the hell? So he was fighting that hard, knowing he was gonna disappear the whole time. So he's incarcerated, and Akechi is... He's dead! I thought I'd braced myself for the it. decision we made, but... This truly is a harsh reality. We all decided to live our real lives and look to the future from here. But even so... I... I just can't accept Senpai being stuck behind bars. Why don't we try to help him somehow? Nice! I'm impressed with the idea. Yeah! We won't put up with this injustice. But what can we do to actually help him get out of there? 
I remember Sis telling me a while ago, in order to overturn a sentence, you need definitive evidence that proves the subject's innocence. So what you're saying is, we just gotta find that evidence, right? Then we're on the case. There's no time for us to waste. I guess we're taking we're over going to for show off the in terms these of detective are princes of. and princesses. One last time. That's right. Now everybody's Let's a detective go. prince. We're gonna save Naruto our leader that. no matter what it takes. Yeah. I probably just woke up in prison. Really? Now that we know the name, all we need is an address. What are we doing? You're right. We'll succeed if we all do it together. Sis has yet to say anything, but I believe she's looking into possible actions as well. As for me, I will look into every viable solution. Thanks. Make sure you give my regards to Shiho-san. Oh, could we try getting their help as well? I'm sure they would gladly cooperate. Wait, who's they? That would be a great help. I'll leave that to you. Mm -hmm. We'll talk again tomorrow. Let's save him. No matter what. I like how it's being vague here. <laughs> I already told you. There was nothing wrong with his conduct. I was his guardian, so I should know best. Hmm. I bet you're just trying to dig up some dirt. You probably want to pin a crime on him. But I'm not going to let that happen. You hear me? So Jiro's standing up for us. I'll announce his name as the key figure in the completion of the medicine at the next conference. I've heard that Miwa-chan's progress is going well. Indeed, that's true, but... I'm certain that this will help prove his good character in the trials. Please. I want to increase his chances of being found innocent as much as possible. I see. So that's why. You'll cooperate too, right? <laughs> that sounds like a threat. And so we need to release an official opinion from this school to object his arrest to the police. You'll all agree with me, correct? <laughs> oh, I'm just like, uh... What good are teachers if they don't believe in their students? We, we saved her butt, so don't forget that. Hey! Yeah, that's the kid. Also, you guys know someone in public security, right? Won't you introduce me to him? I have to protect him. Using whatever means necessary. I don't think I need the Yakuza on my side, thanks. But appreciate it. I'm begging you. Jishima! Please, I, I beg of you. Please help me collect enough signatures. I, I want to help a friend who's innocent. He's a really good guy. He always fights for the sake of others. Trying to sway the he's, public. He's my best friend! Oh, I've been upgraded to best friend status. Oh, yeah. So basically, the reason why we were able to come to our senses is because he saved us. And now he's in a crisis himself. I believe it's our turn to save him this time. But our words alone won't reach anyone. That's why I need Yokota-san and everyone's help. Won't you please protest the police with me? Please! Yeah, that's the whole cult thing that uh, we broke out of. Hey, journalist! Please tell me if you know of this young man. I need testimonies from people to use in the special article in regards to him. Did he truly look like a boy who would cause an assault here? There's a discrepancy in the other residents' testimonies in the court decision at the time. Please, you have to remember. A certain young man is faced with a dilemma due to the unjust oppression by the government. He is suffering from a crime he did not commit. He is a promising young man who will support this country's future. What justice is there in a country without it being able to save such an individual? This cannot be allowed! Get him, Yoshida. Look at the guy ranked number one in these rankings. Isn't his score amazing? Does that mean? I really want to go up against him, but I heard he's been arrested for some crime he didn't commit. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. 
but gamers too. I can't help him out with just myself alone. We need tons more people's voices, like on online forums and getting signatures and stuff. You have to say with me that it makes no sense that he's been arrested when he's done nothing bad. Please, please help him out. Oh, hey. Yes, it's thanks to that young man. I would still be trapped in that awful match fixing if not for his support. And now, this honest gentleman is locked up in Juvenile Hall, despite being innocent. This time, I wish to be the one to come to his rescue. Please, he doesn't belong in juvenile detention at all. I swear I'll make up for the missed practice. Please, let me take just a short break. Uh, coach? No deal. But... I've got a few connections up my own sleeve that'll probably be more useful than simply doing your own legwork. I'll also try calling around to check if any of my other trainees have some useful info. But if I do this for you, it means you're continuing practice as scheduled, got it? I'm sure it's what he'd want for you, too. <laughs> Thank you so much, Coach. Thanks, Coach. Oh. But we're in here again. Are we in jail? Are we in our... Oh, no. We're just in our pajamas, apparently. You escape the prison of the heart only to be imprisoned in reality. What a most ironic outcome. Your wish for others' happiness prevailed over your own. However, I feel as though all is finally well. In the end, you willingly chose the correct path. Most importantly, you never compromised your values for your own well-being. Oh, what's this? The final arcana you have acquired is the world. It is the power for an individual to stand on their own two feet, swayed by none. That power shall fuel the hope shared amongst your friends and yourself to strive towards a better future. With the world, you are no longer without a place to belong and will never trudge a path alone again. This is mine now. I claim it. I'm gonna keep it. My own duties end here as well. Glad to see you're you doing alright, Igor. You truly a remarkable guest. And Igor is gone, as well as Lavenza. I have no need for the Velvet Room anymore. Can't really use it if the Metaverse is gone anyway. to the series, would you? Like, properly? No, oh, sure. Everybody remembers Igor, but nobody remembers uh, the god that followed their domain. Long him. time no see. We met last on Christmas Eve, right? Uh, it, never mind. It, it's nothing. <laughs> I have two great pieces of news for you today. Kay. First, we finally managed to prosecute Masayo Shishido. He'll likely be found guilty. Sweet. I'm grateful for your cooperation with the trial. Your testimony proved to be very useful. Hmm, what a relief. To be frank, it seemed almost hopeless at one point. But thanks to the civil protests, some of the more indecisive prosecutors came to our side. It will likely be some more time until the hearing begins, but this is the first step to true change. The only charges right now are for breaking election laws, breaking funding control laws, and bribery. I knew that proving the Metaverse's existence would be difficult, but I still find myself dissatisfied. Shido did admit to all of his crimes, though, including everything you know about. Now for the other piece of good news. As of today, you'll be free to go. Woo! Wait, uh, why so suddenly? Shido's confession brought light to the truth of your case. 
We were able to prove your innocence in the original assault charge that led to your arrest. Your sentence will no doubt be rescinded. You're a free man. The others did everything they could for you. Bringing in the woman who was the victim in your case as a witness was the turning point. To think they'd be able to track down someone involved in a case from well over a year ago. And that wasn't all. An unbelievable amount of support has come in from various other places as well. Regardless, the righteous phantom thieves are gone. All that remains is for us adults to lead society in the right direction. Then again, I have to wonder if you believe what I say. Hmm. Uh, we made a promise. Thank you. Still, I'm glad I was able to save you in court. I've never felt so happy in my entire life. I'm not quite sure how to put it, but saving your future meant more to me than my own career. I feel like you even taught me how to live. So, uh, that wasn't quite my intention. <laughs> that's not true. By the way, there's something that's been on my mind. What did the treasure of my world turn out to be? Hmm, I don't remember. <laughs> and that's perfectly fine. This isn't an investigation, after all. I suppose it doesn't matter now one way or the other. There is... One more thing. I haven't even told Makoto about this, but I realized something after meeting all of you. My most prized treasure is the justice I use to protect those important to me. Makoto helped show me that as well. Once the Shido case is settled, I'm thinking of quitting my job and becoming a defense lawyer. I wanted to reform the system, but I'll have to leave that to someone else. Going forward, I want to enact justice not for myself, but for the sake of others. <laughs> well then, I need to go submit the paperwork for your release. Thank you again for everything you've done. See you later. Her treasure is never actually revealed, so if you're looking for answers, there really isn't one. Oh, oh hey, I'm free. Hey, it's a yellow ta- is that, uh, Sojiro's car? Hey, you oh, kept me waiting. Jeez. To be honest, I didn't really want to come. But Futaba just wouldn't stop bugging me. Anyway, you're a free man now, aren't you? <laughs> It'd look bad on me if you did something again under my watch. <laughs> All right, let's go home. It's cold, so get in quick. All right. We're not quite done here because uh, we have a little bit more of a story to go, so buckle up for more story. This again. It's not moving at all. Due to the railway incident this morning, widespread delays have impacted the various deja vu. lines and... Another accident, huh? <laughs> Reminds me of that day back in April. Remember when we went to introduce you at the school? Uh, yeah. It's almost been a whole year since then. Hmm. Thinking back, that was pretty awful to you. Throwing you in that storage room all by yourself. And again, soon you're gonna be... I'm gonna be leaving. Made some great friends here. You better thank them when we get back, alright? Okay. So, uh, yeah. Oh, are we at... I guess he just dropped us straight at LeBlanc, I'm guessing? As he went to go park the car? Hmm. Mm. Why, why are y'all looking at me? Ah! Woohoo! Namaste! What? <laughs> Whoa! What does that even mean? You did it! Why would you run up and yell at? It has been a while. Not bad. You look fine. I'm glad you seem well. There's the cat. And the best for last, me. <laughs> so we meet again. It's good to see you. Oh, so uh, I'm back. All right, so let's grab a table. I gotta head out and grab some groceries. I'm sure you guys have plenty to talk about. Thanks for helping me out, guys. Now we're only missing one last person. Wait, who are we missing? She texted me a little while ago that oh, she's finished with practice and heading here. 
I'm guessing she'll be here any minute now. Sorry I'm late. Senpai! Yay! Um, welcome back. All right, that's everyone. Come on, Sumire, take a seat. Man, it went well, yeah? I'm so glad we didn't give up. This was certainly worth the effort. We didn't know what to do once you were gone. But then we realized something. Even if we don't have the metaverse or any other special powers, we can still change reality. If we didn't do that at the very least, we'd be betraying the entire reason we stood up to Maruki. We'll oppose the injustices of this reality with our own strength. That's what we all agreed upon. Hmm, what happened Ever to Maruki? since then, we've been doing just that. Busting our asses trying to get you out of the clink. Not just us. Clink? Everyone who believed in you joined us. Thanks to that, we've got our leader back. So, uh, thank you. What are you talking about? You're the one who took the hit for us. They treated you fine, right? Actually, did you lose some weight? It would be understandable. I have heard the food in prison is quite foul. So, uh, what did you eat? Was it bugs? <laughs> Fermented mackerel? Or maybe durian? Should we talk, should we talk about You're what? missing the point. Eh, you're gonna get some good food soon enough, though. Boss is out getting stuff for our party right now. Come Great. on, everyone's back together. It's time to celebrate! <laughs> I guess you really were hungry. I'm sorry, was that my belly or a bear? Oh, and that wasn't you? Sorry about that. Oh, Sumi was that Sumire oh, or a bear? It was Sumire. Sojiro will be back soon, just to hang in there. Oh, yeah! Uh, sorry for not minding my business. But we heard from boss, you're going back home next month? Can't you stay here? Sure, we proved you're not guilty, but people are still gonna label you there, aren't they? Ain't it just gonna be uncomfortable going back? Mm. What's the matter? We were all so excited a moment ago. How about this? If our leader is leaving, the Phantom Thieves are truly disbanding, correct? Today, we can celebrate his release and commemorate the day of our disbandment. <laughs> what kind of commemoration is that? <laughs> I'm with on on this one. I was serious when I said it. It sounds like a good idea to me. I guess you're right. We just gotta double our excitement for today. About that, there's something I need to tell you guys. I've decided to go with him when he leaves. Oh, I'm taking He's a cat. He's pretty special after all. Plus, we need someone there in case he turns back into a delinquent. Um, wait, but, um, but I've never been a delinquent. Really? Either way, I want you guys to add my farewell party to the one we're having tonight. I don't know. Is that important? You're not leaving for another month, right? It is far too early for a farewell party. That'll just muddy the purpose of this celebration. Oh, how dare you! Sumire, at least you're on my side, right? Uh, me? <laughs> then, what say we call this a second round welcoming party? That's the ticket, my re-welcoming party. Nobody can complain about that. So, for the food at my party, I demand sushi! Sushi! I think we're having curry. Man, you guys are loud. I could hear you from outside. Chief, they're so mean. <sighs> Noisy as always. Can't understand you, Morgana. Hey, I'm not some normal cat! <laughs> I can't understand what you're saying to me, you know. Here. No, I would much rather have sushi than something like... <clears throat> this is delicious. What did she? What, <laughs> what did, an assertive what did he little just guy. Feed him? I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> That's just part and parcel of who I am. The one, the only Morgana. Stop trying to talk so big. You're just a cat now. Shut up! I don't need to hear that from some dumb ape. What was that? It's things like that. 
You get angry so fast. <laughs> so oh, Jiro can't hear vulgar. anything. What's going on? This must be you weird. Little, why don't you go disappear again? <sighs> Shut up! We're supposed to be celebrating, not fighting. They're at it again. You guys never change, do you? Seriously, that weirdo Inari. Who are you calling a weirdo? Next. Don't worry. Being weird is just a sign of your individuality. Sumi right not helping. Uh, you don't need to defend him about that. <laughs> well, anyways, we're all here now. Let's kick this party off. No, seriously, what Very did well. what did Sojiro feed? Sojiro, I want sushi. I have no idea what's going on. Anyway, moving on. Hmm. Delicious food, fluffy sheets. I guess home is what you make of it, even in this abandoned building of all places. Hey, take care of me like this back home too, okay? Did we tell my parents Seriously? that I was bringing a cat? So uh, I wanted to ask you something. Remember the tail end of Maruki's palace when I was actually flying? That wasn't a dream, right? Hmm, sure wasn't. Nice. Yeah, I thought so. But I can't figure out how that was possible in the first place. So this is just a theory, but don't you still have that star Jose gave you? Oh, hey, oh. it's the star lost its luster. This was shining the last time you looked at it, right? So it really was the effect of the star. Oh, well, of course it was, now that I think about it. There's no other way that the idea of a cat converting into a helicopter could suddenly become a common cognition. Well, we're through with the metaverse, so it only happened in the most extreme of emergencies. So I have a feeling that it won't be happening any again anytime soon. I'm glad you made it back. I'm sorry I couldn't see you today. I'd like to see you tomorrow night, if that's okay. What should I do tomorrow? All right, we're gonna spend time with Sumi Ray tomorrow. It is uh, Valentine's Day? Thank you, I'll see you tomorrow then. Good night. You never change, do you? Come, Come on, on, let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. You're working at the shop from tomorrow onward, right? Why was the last line voiced? I don't understand games. Every day is so boring. I don't care if it's just courtesy. I want chocolate. What? You're giving him chocolate? Watch where you're going, old man. Who cares about Valentine's Day anyway? You can just ignore her if you want, but you're kind of dating. Well, I'm kind of, or uh, my main character is dating her, so. Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> oh, boy. Good evening. I didn't know you were still working. Sorry for stopping by so late. I'm sorry, does, does Valentine's Day have a bow on it? Oh, uh, you should have just told me. And a heart in the D. Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave the store to you. Oh no, a heart in the deer. Enjoy yourselves. That's considerate of him. I hope I'm not imposing. Me, I know I already saw Morgana. you before, but I really wanted to have some time with you today. So I thought I'd stop by on the way home from practice. So, uh, I'm glad I got to see you. <laughs> Same here. I had so much I was going to say once I finally got to talk to you. But now that you're here, and I can see your face for myself, none of it seems so important anymore. So, uh, I'm sorry that I worried you. It's alright. I understand why you did what you did. On another note, I brought you something. Oh. It's chocolate, since it's Valentine's Day today. Oh, well, thank you. You're very welcome. After all, compared to what you've done for me, this is nothing. 
So we got Sumi Ray's chocolate, which is an SP healing item, apparently. Just checking, but we're back in the real world, right? Oh, I wanted to say, Senpai, I... Ever since that day, I've finally been living for myself, as myself, and from now on, I always will. Uh, so, um, may I sit next to you? Uh, yeah? You're going back to your hometown soon, yes? Uh, <laughs> want to come with me? <laughs> It's sweet of you to ask. But I'm going to keep working hard. Wherever you are, I'll make sure you hear about me. She always said she performed best when thinking about someone she loved. I think I finally understand Kasumi, what she was trying to say. When I think about you, I get the feeling the competition's going to go just fine. So you mean... <laughs> Aww. I think you know what I mean. I spent a romantic evening with Subi Ray. Oh, okay. Guess there was a heart in the D. Jeez. Perfect timing. You've got a guest. I do? Ah! Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course. What's this? Uh, chocolate, huh? You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. Sorry for how this is coming off. I didn't mean for it to seem like I'm just dumping my leftovers on you. Oh, uh, not at all. Thank you. I'm the one who should be thanking you. So, thank you. Well, look at this hot shot. Lucky guy having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. Sh Shojiro, stop. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done for me. See you around. Well, that happened. Oh, I heard they finally turned you loose. I'm glad you're doing okay. Turned me loose? I expected at least a phone call, though. Sorry. Anyhow, you're free, and that's worth celebrating. More chocolates? Oh, more chocolates. I was hoping I'd get a chance to hand this over, so this is good timing. You know how it was Valentine's Day yesterday? Well, thank you. It's just a token of my appreciation, so don't go feeling guilty about not getting me anything. How about you consider it a sign of trust from one comrade to another? See ya! Morning! Hello. We usually don't run into each other here, huh? Oh, yeah. This is for you. More chocolate? Holy crap. I was going to give it to you at school, but as long as we're both here... Have some chocolate. You know, for Valentine's Day. Uh, as friends? As friends. Close friends. I'll be counting on you. Who are we missing? Makoto, Haru, Futaba? Oh, there's oh. one. Great timing. I was just headed to your classroom. Here, take this. Hey, chocolate, thanks. Yum. It's chocolate. Think of it as a token of appreciation for all you do for us. Oh, thank you. Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be a big deal. See you again soon, okay? You can't escape from all the chocolate, you guys. It just keeps coming. Hello. I'm gonna get fat. I'm glad I caught you. I wanted to give you this. I thought it'd be best to wait until today. After all, if you got one from someone special, I wouldn't want to intrude. You always do so much for me. This is the least I could give in return. Oh, well, thank you. Of course. We should get coffee again sometime, too. Just let me know when you're free. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, I'm glad I got to see you. Mifumi. I'm relieved you're safe. On that note, I have a small gift for the occasion, if you'll accept it. You're gonna get more chocolates? Oh, we are. Well, thank you. Apparently these days, people give chocolate to friends, even when it's purely platonic. It seems like a fine opportunity to celebrate your return and express my gratitude. Mm, well, thank you. I hope Shogi brings us even closer together. We still got a few more ladies. Oh, there's one. Hello there. I knew you'd be here. Oh, well, I don't mean I've been watching you. I just read your fortune. That's creepy. Now that that's cleared up, please take this. It's to celebrate your freedom and to say thanks for everything you do. Oh, well, thank you. If you ever need my power again, all you have to do is ask. I'll always be happy to help you. Ah. Welcome back. I wasn't sure I'd even see you, but I guess this is good timing. Goth doctor is here. here. Take this. Figured you deserved a little appreciation. Uh, as friends. <laughs> Who knows? Don't get your hopes up. Sounds like you've been through a lot. It's kind of a relief to see you're the same as ever. Remember, I'm pretty close by if you ever come down with something. Call whenever you need to. See you later then. What? I know it's sudden, but could you watch the store? I gotta head out for a bit. Think you can keep an eye on things? Yes, sir. Oh, teacher. Oh, were you working? Sorry to distract you. I thought I'd stop by on the way home from work. Partly so I could give you this. You've done so much for me, after all. I wanted to say thanks. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, and I didn't get to say it at work, but... Welcome back. I'm glad you're safe. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. I whipped up a little study guide for the classwork you missed. It should cover most of the important stuff. If you're still having trouble with any of it, you can always ask me, okay? I'm your teacher. That's my job. Anyway, I'll see you at school. Perfect timing. You got a sec? Uh, yeah. Cool. I just wanted to give you something. Don't worry. Not gonna make it weird. Just, if Sojiro saw, he'd get ideas and start freaking out. So, here you go. What was that? <laughs> Thank you, Futaba. A chocolatey gift for my friend and squad mate. If you want to pay me back, I'll take a year's supply of instant noodles. Oh, <laughs> that's a lot. What? You thought I was serious? Relax! It's just a gift from me to you. Cause you're my key item, right? And you always will be. You have the leaf in the screen, what the heck? And yeah, the game just kind of yeets you into uh, March. Hey, everyone free after school tomorrow? I should be available, why? There's something I want to talk about, thinking we could all meet up at Lalan. Can you check if boss is free to too, Akira? Uh, sure. That works for me. Me too, I can head over once school's finished. All good here, too. Likewise, let's- then let's all head there when we can. I can read English words, sure. Yeah, see you guys there. Ryuji wants to talk, did something happen with him? I might as well just put my controller down so I can just click through things. Because, yeah, this is just a story to finish up. What a journey this has been. Goodness. You sure you want me hanging around? Uh, I can step out for a bit if you like. No, I'd prefer you stick around. Everyone I owe something to has got to hear this. Yes. I'm thinking about moving away. Moving? It's just... A hell of a lot's happened this past year, you know? It's got me thinking about the future and how I still want to get back on the track team. That's why I want to move closer to a physical rehab facility, get my knee fixed up while going to school. At the earliest, 
All oh, this is gonna kick off starting next month. I see. That is quite sudden. Hmm. On? Actually, I've got some news too. I'm in the middle of looking into studying abroad. Just short term. Holy crap. I've been Everybody's wondering leaving. what would be the smartest move for my career, so... You're moving too. Both Haru and I are looking for places to live on our own. Starting next month. In fact, our moves will probably occur around the same time as Ryuji's. I plan to keep learning about the business while also attending college. And that's why Mako-chan and I were talking about how we won't be able to get together like we used to. Are you gonna tell them too? Um, so... I passed the entrance exam. I'm gonna be a high schooler starting in April. Woo! First high school, then college. Then I can finally research cognitive science for real. Even you, Futaba? No, I apologize. I should be wishing you all the best of luck. Nah, you do have a point. We are going our separate ways. So we'll always be connected, so stop this nonsense right now. Oh, you mean the bonds we all have? <laughs> That's a great point. It seems you're all taking great strides forward. I, however, will not be going anywhere until I've completed my current painting. No matter how many years it takes, I will express this feeling that's grown within me since we first banded together. That's still some kind of stride though, ain't it? No matter what we may go through, or how many times we may stumble, we'll follow the path we believe in. That's what the Phantom Thieves are all about. Stop trying to be such a cool cat. I am not a cat! Yeah, I guess I am. There's still no way I'm accepting Doc's reality, but if it weren't for going through that, I don't know if I would have felt this way now. It's like following through with what I want to do in life. I guess I learned how to really believe in my future. In that case, wouldn't you say Sumire learned the same thing? I mean, she is at training camp right now. Indeed. While her viewpoint may differ from the Phantom Thieves' beliefs, there's still much we can learn from her. Oh, that reminds me. Sumire left something with me. She told me she forgot to give us this the other day. Is that a newspaper clipping? What's it say? I can't read it. Guess it was lying on the ground when we got out of Dr. Maruki's palace. This article! It's the case about Dr. Maruki's loved one. The one whose family was murdered. I'd be willing to bet. This is Doc's treasure. So her case was the origin of Maruki's distortion. Well, yeah. Would you hold on to this? Sure. We've all got to keep living with our eyes focused on our dreams. Otherwise, Dr. Maruki's gonna give us all kinds of shit. You're absolutely right. Well, I'm very impressed. You've all become quite mature. So let me throw you a little celebration in honor of the next chapters of your lives. Order whatever you'd like on me. Thank you. Oh yeah! It's all you can eat and drink, people! Uh, uh, huh? Boss, thank you for the generosity. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, that wasn't what I said. Oh. Could you at least go easy on me? Everybody <laughs> <laughs> right, Whatever you guys want. Woohoo! Oh, great cheese. Grab a Are we lucky? Moving on. Hello, Senpai. Sorry for messaging you so late. I just wanted to send you this picture from our first shine visit of the year. Ooh, that takes me back. I know, it's already been two months. I've got a lot of mixed feelings about this picture, I guess. That's supposed to be me there, but it just isn't. It really makes me realize how buried I was in Kasumi's identity. Uh, but now you're Sumi Ray. That's right, I'm not going to run away anymore. Actually, there's one more photo I want you to see. 
kind of embarrassing, but this is a photo my coach took of me. The real me, I guess. Training is tough, and it's really hard sometimes, but I feel like I'm finally moving forward with my life. So uh, I'll support you the entire way. When you tell me these things, I feel like I could take on the whole world. I'll make our dream come true, and I'll do it as myself, not as Kasumi. I'll climb all the way to the top of the gymnastics world. So could you keep watching over me until then? Of course. Oh gosh, I'm tearing up for some reason. Falling apart at the slightest thing, I guess that means I really am back to being Sumi Ray, huh? Oh, my break's over. I have to get back to training. I'll talk to you later. <sighs> Sumi Ray's standing on her own two feet now. We'll fight for our goals, too. Ready for tomorrow? Uh, what? <laughs> White day. That's tomorrow, right? You got some chocolates on Valentine's Day, didn't you? And White Day's when you return the favor. The men do the gifting. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? Yeah, I forgot. Hmm. Get it together, kid. Sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless. Fine. Listen up, and I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate date. All right, uh, that would be great. Whoa, the chief has an ultimate date plan? <laughs> Why does that have music change? Too, just in case. First off, you're gonna need a gift. This won't work without one. Can't go wrong with flowers. Just make sure you buy them before the date. You gotta present them near the end. Surprise her, so you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Uh huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Next, think about where you're taking her. You gotta want somewhere with a right atmosphere, but it's gotta be peaceful. Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. Might okay, be a good we're spot, going to the aquarium. Right? The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. Now, once the date part's over, you gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. God, it's kind of last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Day. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Oh, wait, what? Hmm, so any way around that? <sighs> Damn it. I don't usually do this, but I know a place. I can't guarantee anything. I bet they're full up too. But you might get an edge if you mention my name. Wow, amazing! Just she go to Lava Chan, it'll be fine. <laughs> so, once you're at dinner, you get to talking, enjoying yourselves, and that's when you give it to her. <laughs> the, the bill? The flowers? Good. You were paying attention. It's the perfect time to surprise her. That ought to do it. Just follow the plan and you're safe. Wow, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do your prep and make those reservations. All right, got it. <laughs> Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to We're you. We're gonna end up with a blonde eating curry. <laughs> you should start prepping right away. Don't waste the chief's advice, all right? Let's see. The reservation comes first. You remember that restaurant Chief told you about? Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? Uh, a table for two on the 14th. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. White day is crazy, huh? But don't worry. All you have to do is mention the Chief. Um, so I'm a, uh, so Jiro Sakura told me to call. You're a friend of Mr. Sakura's? My apologies, sir. If you could just hold for one moment. Thank you for your patience. You wanted a dinner course for two on the 14th. We will have a table ready what? for you. Okay. Dang, the chief has serious clout. Could I ask your name and contact information? 
Okay, your dinner plans are locked in. Now you just gotta get the flowers, and then it's off to the aquarium and dinner. It's gonna be busy tomorrow, so we'd better get rest while we can. Today's the day. Let's go get those flowers. I think there was a florist in that underground passage in Shibuya. Yeah, you're stuck in this, so you don't get to choose whether or not you're doing it. Hey, look, we're free for the first time in forever, and I think we can actually I'll save just here. Do this. So uh, I am actually going to save here because we do have a little bit more story after this. So I will see you all next time as we finish up the last episode of Persona 5 Royal. I will see you all then.